Mia, look! Aw, puppies! I wonder if they're boys or girls. How about we make a prediction? A guess about how many boys or girls there are. Okay, how should we do that? Well, to make a good prediction, we have to start by figuring out all the possible outcomes. Outcomes? The different results or things that might happen. That's easy. Each puppy will either be a boy or a girl. Right. In this case, there are only two possible outcomes. Each puppy has a 50% chance of being a boy. And a 50% chance of being a girl, right? Exactly. They're equally likely. So if there are four puppies, we can predict that half of them will be boys and half of them will be girls. Two and two. That'd be perfect. It helps to make a chart to keep track of what happens. We'll put the possible outcomes on the left. Girl and boy. And then we'll make checks on the right as we check each puppy. Now all we have to do is see if our prediction comes true. Okay, let's start with that one. It's a girl. One girl. How about these? Two boys. Oh, yeah. You go, boys. That's two checks in the boys column. Come on, girl. Wow, it's another boy. Hey, what about our prediction and 50-50 chances? Well, predictions aren't always exactly correct. The actual outcomes can be different. Yeah, I see. But I bet if there were more puppies, over time, the outcome would be close to 50-50. The truth is, a prediction's always a guess. Sometimes it's a very good guess. Like we can be pretty certain that a puppy will have fur. Right, and not feathers. Yeah, I'd predict that would be impossible. Other predictions like weather are more complicated. Hey, maybe that's why forecasters always say it might rain or there's a likely chance of snow. They don't want to be caught making a wrong prediction. You got it. Weather has so many outcomes that it's harder to make a prediction. It might rain, it might snow, there might be lightning, there might be hail. The temperature might be hot or cold. I'll take predicting puppies. <laughs> I agree. I guess we really make a lot of predictions every day, from trying to guess the weather to guessing who will win a basketball game. I can see why it's important to identify the possible outcomes or things that might happen before you make a prediction. Then you'll have a better chance that your prediction will be right. But the more possible outcomes there are, the harder it is to make predictions. Right. You never know quite what will happen. Oh, yeah? Well, I have another prediction. About what? About lunch. I'd say it's pretty darn certain I'll have a slice of pepperoni with extra cheese.